fanned out across the New York, New Jersey area. Ready for our tactical briefing? Two teams, two similar cars requesting the same services. The windshield wipers not working. This is a plan every day. Pull over, activate the cameras, and we get down to business. We're working with Audra Forden. She's our undercover mechanic. I feel like the industry is, it's, it's getting damaged by just a few bad apples. We wanted to see what would happen if we went to a shop owned by a well-known national chain, this Goodyear in Comac, New York. Once again, we set up that simple test, intentionally breaking our windshield wipers by blowing this $4 fuse. We send in our first team, nice to meet you. our undercover men. Yeah, wipers are fixed. There's a bad fuse. A bad fuse? Yeah, get a blown fuse. Oh. The mechanics fix that blown fuse for free for them. But a few days later, when Audra and I get there, I have a problem with my wipers. Our hidden cameras show them fixing the blown fuse in less than a minute. There he is, turning on the wipers. But like in New Jersey, these guys tell the women it's not a fuse, but a complicated wiring issue. We got an electrical problem with the, with the wipers. It's the wire from the switch to the fuse panel is broken. Can you show us? Yeah. Ooh, so much information. I really can't pull on it too much, but my hand's on it. It's right here. Okay. And then Joe, the mechanic, makes it seem like he's doing us a favor. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it apart, and I'm going to solder a new wiring for you. So. Rather than ordering a whole new wire harness, I could fix that for a hell of a lot less. His co-worker, Ross, recommends an oil change. Well, did he say that it needed it? Yeah. Oh, oh. how can you talk? Pull the dipstick out and you can just see the color of the oil. Oh, what color is it? It's dirty. What can... Wait a minute. Rewind. Here we are just that morning checking the oil. It sure looked clean back then. It's, it's a nice brownish golden color, so there's no reason to change it. And then this. They do a good job finding a plastic connector that's cracked and held in place with a screw. You have a thing called a throttle cable. That's where your gas pedal's hooked up to. Show what's going on with that. It should be replaced, but for some reason, they don't leave it at that. First, they say if we don't fix it, our car can be impounded. You wouldn't fail inspection if, if you came in for an inspection and that was like that, right. by law we're supposed to call the state and notify the vehicles not allowed on the road. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Not really. The state doesn't impound cars for this. But they go on. This is illegal. That's 100% illegal to put a screw in this. Also not true. And then he tells us if we don't act now, we could kill someone. That comes out of place, your panel jams wide open. You, if you don't shut the vehicle off, you hit somebody. You can roll the car, you kill people. It's illegal. You lose yeah. control of your vehicle. That's so scary. So it's a safety issue? It's illegal. It's illegal number one, number two, you step on the gas, and that lets go. It's just going to. As Audra walks out, she struggles to stay calm. She tells us what the mechanics just said is not true. In fact, she says it's the opposite, that if the throttle cable came loose, our car would slow down, not speed up. Intense. Wow. They have to call the state to come and take our car away if we don't fix it. What are you talking about? Rid Ridiculous. Other mechanics we talk to agree with Audra. So it's time to go back to that Goodyear shop and talk with them. Ready? Okay, here we go. We actually sent two teams well, in, I, both driving identical cars, one team of men, one of women. I was one of the women, and the other woman was a mechanic. So when you said that that throttle cable, if it came loose, would send our car raging out of control, she knew that it would actually slow the car down, not speed it up. I um, don't wish to make a comment, and I do not remember saying that it was going to crash or that it would uh, cause a problem. No we comment. had a blown wiper fuse. You claimed it was a big wiring job, but we had no hidden idea. cameras that showed there was no you, wiring. I can't down. tell you anything about it. I don't remember. Hey, Ross. There was one other thing I wanted to ask you, which is why did you say our oil needed to be changed when it was brand new? 
The Goodyear store manager later contacted us and apologized. He said he fired Joe and disciplined Ross and that it's unfortunate the actions of one person can overshadow the excellent service provided by the other employees. Things may be changing at Goodyear, and Audra says she's changed, too, refining her workshops okay. and the tips she passes on to customers. We can feel the pressure in here. I didn't feel safe in my comfort zone. I felt like a prey. Here's her takeaway on how to avoid that feeling. Personal recommendations, they're the best. Ask your friends, ask your neighbors. Who do they use? Who do they trust? Sometimes when the pressure's on, you know, that anticipation of what am I going to do? Should I buy it now? Do I need it? Do I really need it? What do I do if I don't need it? And what if I buy it? And if you're not comfortable with that diagnosis and prognosis that you're given, don't buy it. No sale. <laughs> Maintaining your car ultimately is the best thing you could do to prolong the life of your car and to keep your money in your pocket.